automatically creating items inside of monday.com is going to save you hours upon hours. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, I'll waste no more of your time. Let's head straight over to monday.com. As you can see here, I am in an example monday.com system. We've got board number one and board number two. Now, I'll come on to board number two later on in this video. We're going to work in levels. So complexity, easiest to start with, and then we'll get more and more complex as we go. Firstly, I want to show you how to automatically create a new item in a board. Really, really simple. So what's our trigger? When status of an item is changed to done, then create a new item in board. Really, really simple. You could do it between different groups and I'll show you how to do this. Firstly, we need to go to automate in the top right hand corner. We need to go to board automations and then press add automation. So we need to select our trigger and then our action. So in this instance, our trigger is going to be status changes to something. Usually it's at the top here. If you can't see it, just scroll through or just search. So status and then our status, you need to select the column. So if you've got multiple status columns, just make sure you're selecting the right one. So I'm select status changes to and then we said done. So when status changes to done, this is our trigger and then we need to create our action. So then do this. Then I'm going to search through all of the different options. In this instance, I'm just going to search create item. So we're just going to create an item. So then create an item to be populated with. So as it stands, it's new item, person, status, and date. And you would have to manually populate all of this information. But I'm just going to show you as an example, example automation create item. Super simple. I'll assign it as lost and date being today. There we go. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press create automation. So that's our first level done. And it's really that easy. So when I change status to done, it's going to automatically, if that works, change status to done, automatically create a new item, example, automation, create item, lost, and the today's date. Really, really simple. So that's stage one. That's the easiest it's going to get. Stage two, we then, when the status is changed to something, want to create an item in board number two. So that's pushing data from one board to another. Now we need to go back to our automations for this. Go to automate in the top right hand corner and press add automation. It's going to be exactly the same. So when status and then select the status column changes to, and then in this example, we'll just do working on it. Then what I want to happen is create item in board. So we're going to create an item in a different board, not the same board. And in this instance, it's going to be board number two. So I'm going to go ahead and select the board that I'd like to create an item in. And then I need to go ahead and select the item. And this allows us to map data. This is really useful. So the name of the item in board number one will be the same as board number two. Person will be the same, status will be the same, and date will be the same. But you can just remove these if you'd like. So I don't want the status to be pushed over as a data point. So I'm just going to remove that. Maybe I don't want the person either because it's being assigned to someone else. And then potentially for the name, you could do name dash, and then we could have item ID, for example. So name dash item ID, or you could write in your own information if you'd like. And then finally, we just need to assign which group on board number two this item is going to be populated into. Now, unfortunately, both of these group names are the same. This is not a great example, but let's just leave it as group title name. Once you're happy, go ahead and press done and go ahead and press create automation. So when status changes to working on it, create item in board number two. So that's done, all sorted. Again, pretty simple stuff, right? So when I change the status of item number one to working on it, I will head over to board number two. And as you can see, this is automatically populated item name and the unique item ID. Now this can be whatever you like and you can set this up accordingly. Super simple stuff. Now for the final level of this video, I'm going to show you how to create an item in another board and then connect those items together using the connection column inside of monday.com. So how do we do this? Firstly, we need to create a connection column. So press the plus button on the far right hand side. If you are not familiar with this at all, watch the video linked above. It's a very comprehensive breakdown of how to set all of this up. Um, I'm going to run through this quickly. So connect items, connect boards, select board, board number two, create a two-way connection, connect boards. I'll do that later. Thank you very much. So that's done. Board number one is now connected to board number two. Board number two is now connected to board number one. 
I'm just gonna change the naming convention here just so everyone is clear. So now what I would like to happen is when status is changed to test, it's going to create an item in board number two and link item in board number two to item in board number one. Sounds complicated, again, super simple. This is where it really comes into fruition because we can add mirror columns and we can have data um, being shown from one board over to another and it makes the process of everything in life inside of monday.com far more seamless. So we're gonna to go to automate in the top right hand corner, press add automation. This is gonna be our third automation. When status, so same principle applies, column and then changes to, and then in this instance, it's gonna be test. Then we wanna go ahead and press create item or search create item, create item in board and connect boards, okay? So we need to select, then create an item in board. We need to select the board we would like to create the item in. In this instance, it's gonna be board number two. So board number two, and then connect boards with column. So connect boards with board number one with column board number two. So those are the two connection columns that we've just created. And we just need to tell monday.com we're associating those and then create an item. So now the same principle applies with the mapping name person status we can remove whatever we like if we don't want particular things there and then i'm going to say connect boards just so everyone's aware of what's going on and then press done and that's it super super simple i'm just going to go ahead and press create automation and there we have it we've done so now if i change the status of work this item one to test it's going to automatically create a new item in board number two. I'm going to head over and you can see it's automatically connected. Item one is now connected. And if I head back, you can see it's connected automatically. Super useful stuff. This can get as extensive as you like. Hopefully this gives you the framework and the basics to work on this. If you need any help setting up monday.com, check out the link below. We would be delighted to help. Hopefully this video has been really, really helpful showing you how to create items in different boards using automations and the different ways in which you can do that. There is more complexity to this. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Goodbye.